And that's a clip from the iconic 1971 Coca-Cola ad, one of the most famous advertising campaigns in history. It is also the closing image of Mad Men, which ended its seventh and last season Sunday. Here to discuss the finale and that Coke ad is WSJ reporter John Jurgensen. John, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. So, John, first, let's start with, did you find the finale satisfying? <laughs> I found it extremely satisfying in that the finale made total sense. Uh, spoiler alert, of course, that right. uh, Don Draper apparently, uh, in a moment of inspiration, dreamed up what would become the iconic Coca-Cola ad. Um, so it all kind of got pieced together. I almost felt that maybe it made a little too much sense, considering the way that Mad Men is often uh, leaving meanings open and uh, storylines uh, dangling. Um, so it almost made a little bit too much sense, but hey, finales can never be perfect. For <laughs> that, there you go. All right, now Mad Men has referenced real life ad campaigns in the past, such as those from Lucky Strike and Volkswagen. The finale ends with the suggestion, as you said, that he, Don Draper is the guy behind the famous Coke campaign. So who was really behind this ad? Yeah, really interesting for uh, for Mad Men to kind of take credit for an ad that has a real story behind it. Uh, the guy, the guy who uh, was responsible for this ad or is credited for is a guy named Bill Backer, who was uh, an account executive at uh, McCann Erickson, which is also featured in Mad Men as well. The uh, the agency is, um, and he had the inspiration for this ad in in seventy one, as you say, when he was flying into uh, supposedly going into London, got delayed on an airline trip, saw lots of angry passengers. And then the next day, notice these very same passengers kind of communing over drinks uh, and specifically a Coca-Cola or so the story goes and had this idea about Coke bringing the world together, uh, people from different backgrounds kind of uniting in this real thing uh, beverage. So from there, the, uh, the the song came out of it first and then the, the video or the, the commercial was shot and turned out to be a smash hit and went down to be, you know, one of the most iconic ads in history. Now, this is a little meta for me because here we are, you know, a story about an ad that Coke actually didn't pay for, right? I mean, this is sort of free advertising for Coke. Uh, correct. Yeah, I, I can't believe that there would be any sort of transaction involved. And I, I reached out to the studio behind Mad Men to find out if we could get any more details uh, about, you know, whether Coke got a heads up or McCann got a heads up about how they were using this. And so far, I haven't heard back. Uh, but it is uh, it is really interesting that Matthew Weiner, the creator of the show, would choose a real life ad uh, to have the last word on this show that he created, you know, from his own imagination. So this blending of real world uh, and, and fictional storylines says a lot about kind of the force of marketing and, and consumer culture in our world. And it really kind of bleeds into art as well. Yeah, you can't lose yourself on a commune in Northern California because you know you're going to find a way to commercialize that. <laughs> All right, now Twitter did light up last night following the finale's closing image. Do you think that this finale is going to be as divisive as The Sopranos, or do you think people will uh, embrace it? Uh, divisive is, is inevitable, and, and as you said, it already is turned out to be divisive. A lot of people thought it was, you know, somewhat corny. There were other elements, uh, you know, characters who were getting together or moving apart from each other that people found maybe a little bit forced, perhaps. But you know, th this is a long, this is a long-running show, and all these characters uh, kind of earned what they got here in the, in the show. Uh, it's not going to be as divisive as Sopranos, I think, because it is an ending and a firm ending and that does kind of tie things up in a, in a bow. So I think people love closure um, and whether or not they like the way it closed is going to be another matter. But right, uh, there's right. certainly a decisive ending to this story. And I think that's what people a lot of a lot of people hunger for, really, unlike The Sopranos, which was what happened. Right. No, it certainly was an ending at the ending of an era. All right. Thank you so much, John, for that. My pleasure.